More than 20% of registered voters in New Mexico are either independent or have no party. Action 7 News reporter Brittany Hope found out if last night's debate swayed any of them. It seems like last night definitely did the trick for New Mexicans who went into that second debate still not knowing who to vote for. And I'm still undecided. I'm leaning towards um, re a Republican. I think I'm going to vote Democrat this time. That's what these three undecided voters told me after last week's separate presidential town halls. And before that, after the first presidential debate, they were all still undecided. So is your mind now made up after the second debate? Yeah. For the first time ever, I'm going to vote Republican. Today, minds now made up for all three of these voters, thanks to last night's debate. They were able to have a, have their conversations without interruption, so you could actually hear what they were saying, and they could, they could actually get it across. These voters wanted less arguing and more plans and policy, which they say they got. The fracking uh, item uh, concerned me. Um, and then also the, <clears throat> the crime uh, part of it. The oil and gas industry here <clears throat> right now um, basically funds our schools. This voter didn't want to say on TV who he has decided to vote for, but tells me what was said last night helped solidify that decision. They gave us good information and we, would, we could hear the other opponents what they wanted to say without interruptions. Some of those voters also gave credit to the moderator, saying she was able to control the debate and the candidates. In Albuquerque, Brittany Hope, KOAT Action 7 News. Of those voters, two are casting their ballot early and one is waiting for Election Day. <laughs>